Miss Lovely, let's say, like, I think I can say very, without it, one of the best films I'd ever done in my life so far. Then, uh, because that film is very close to me, because of the sensibility, because I, me and uh, the director. Actually, like, when you, when you make an independent film, or when you make a film other than the commercial film, as a film as a, as a form of art or something like that. So I'll say like uh, Miss Lovely is like what my the, what is what I really believe. This is what I really want to do. Because I am say like I I'm a I'm a purist. I think it like a cinema should be is not just for entertainment. It's it's a kind of a is is art actually. A certain way of expression. You know how you do it. So I have a certain way of like and film film and definitely for me film is not a just the storytelling. I don't see like uh, when you look at it like a, like it's like like an Oshim, like look because Oshim chased me to do a documentary long ago. Say like almost few that is 14 years ago. Like we did a documentary together called John and Jane. So I didn't know John uh, like uh, be, uh, like uh, Oshim before that thing. So when he called me, I didn't know because I was coming out of documentary and started doing other kind of work, you know, commercials and I want to get into mainstream cinema or commercials. So that's the time he's calling me. I didn't want to go back to documentary again. But he chased me. He saw some of my earlier work and he wanted me to shoot that film. So finally, like, I met him. Then he started talking about uh, filmmaking. So that time I, 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 I thought, oh, this man is different. He looks differently, you know. So then it, we did that uh, film together. And it was a great film. I think that's a great documentary idea, one of the best documentaries I did. Well, while shooting that documentary, he was talking to me about uh, the idea of this film, Miss, the, the basic idea of Miss Lovely. And I was quite uh, thrilled by the idea. And I know like what uh, he will do. He, the way he looks at things is like very, very different, you know. It's not like many other filmmakers, uh, which will, they make it like a very, I don't know what to, what to say, like, he, he, he will go beyond the subject actually, you know, in filmmaking. And that is what I really like about any filmmaker. You should go beyond the script. Like when I work with Oshim, I don't, I don't have to ask for the what, what is the script. Because I know like whatever it is, like we'll be doing some interesting stuff, interesting thing out of it. The film, the final outco outcome will be like uh, quite interesting. So with, uh, with, uh, with Oshim there's no script, it's just an idea, just tell me the idea. So, and, one, and our working style is also like that. It's not like uh, everything is like planned on paper. Then you go and uh, like uh, execute exactly what you plan. It's not like that. You things when what, whatever happens on the set, you know, like incorporate everything and you do it. We like each other's work. Like if you, if you ask me like uh, Setu's work, Satyajit Pandey, you know, Setu, we call him Setu. Yes, yeah, Setu's work in uh, Ladish case is like really superb actually. What he tried in the film, like I, I really, I thought like why it was not nominated for many other uh, like film competition this year, you know. It is, it is one of the finest work. And of course, uh, like what, Queen, uh, I can't say much because I haven't seen Queen. But Highway is like a really, really great work. And uh, even, even Haida, it's like uh, Pankaj's work is like really nice. Setu's work I really like. A, maybe I don't know something which I really like. The way he he tried something in the film, and uh, which I really like. Even even Highway is quite nice. But I think I'll give uh, my vote for uh, Setu. Camera work in India, I think the like is come like uh, is really really good actually. There are a lot of really like superb technicians you know, in in India now right now. Because like all of all of all the people who nominated this in this this thing, like all really, I think I think international standard actually. What I say like at par with anybody working outside the India. So in terms of camera work or or, or techniques, camera techniques like uh, I think like we are we are progressing actually a lot. But whereas filmmaking sensibility is concerned, I don't think it's like. Uh, I think we made much, much better films in the earlier years, actually, than what is happening in, in these years. Lovely, like a lot of filmmakers, our, our uh, like previous generation, or maybe like the, or my, my generation, slightly elder to me, 
से लाइक फ्रॉम लाइक की लाइक केतन मेहता और मणिका और और शाहिद मिर्सा और लाइक ऑल दिस फिल्म मेकर्स मेड रियली मार्बलस फिल्म यू नो बट वेर इज राइट नो आई डोंट थिंक दर इज नॉट मच हैपनिंग यू नो से लाइक कंपेयर टू से लाइक समथिंग मेड रियली लाइक भावनी भवाई और एन यू साहिद मिर्सा फिल्म और इवन कुंदन शाह फिल्म और एंड एंड एवरी से लाइक एवरी रीजन इन इन इंडिया लाइक वेर इज मलयालम और इन or in bengali or in other places there are a lot of beautiful films were made in the 70s or 60s 70s 80s you know but there is right now it is not so much of that thing is happening actually i think we should have been making much more interesting films these days like once in a while one film or something happens you know it should not be like that and the thing is nowadays the thing is it's become like the tools have become so accessible actually film making tools like in the earlier time it was like very very difficult to access uh, the tool you know to make the make a film so you like a camera to get a camera it was expensive and by film stock it was very expensive and the editing and the process was very expensive but nowadays like you can with this kind of a camera you can make a film if you have a 2 lakhs uh, or 3 lakhs of investment you have all your tools ready to make a film it's so easy to make a film but the why there are no great film like uh, good films coming out of this country now I don't buy that thing. If you want to do storytelling, then you rather write something or do something else. But cinema has, a, as a medium, as its own, say like like a painter, like say like why Van Gogh is uh, like so famous, uh, like compared to so many other painters, because his the way his genius and the way he used color, the way he used the brush strokes. It's a painting medium he used, you know, so beautifully. You can see everything, like the what we painted, like uh, like uh, the the form. and in even film making also has a form actually you know that form and it's it's a it's a pro, it's a proper mixture of a form and content so which uh, i think miss lovely according to me it meets that uh, thing you know like it's a, it's a perfect mixture of form and content it is not just a storytelling Till now, this this last uh, year, I think there's some people tried something actually. Some like it's a, like I haven't seen Sulaimani Kid. I miss that thing. Then the Ankho Deki is like it, it's a very interesting film. I, I think I'll say it's the best film made by Rajat, and it's very short, also very beautifully by Rafi, and performed by that uh, the main actor Sanjay Sanjay Mishra. Beautiful performance. I mean that 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 I think f- there there should be more filmmaking like that actually you know should happen and that is what I what I I expect actually from a country like India with so much population so many filmmaker there should be more films coming out like that rather than uh, all these uh, so called uh, I don't know I am also part of uh, that uh, industry because that's uh, that's my survival stick you know that's my livelihood. but the thing is but still i think at heart the thing you there should be certain kind of cinema the the, the pure cinema there should be much more than what actually it's there mm-hmm.